Um, so there is a situation that a young woman has, and she would like for you guys to help her out with it. Mm, okay. Up for the challenge? Right. Yeah, challenge right. accepted. Okay. <laughs> My boyfriend and I have been dating for over a year. His mom lives out of town. Her birthday is coming up. I've not met her yet. I have met a family member, but I have not met mom yet. Mm. Um, he did not ask me to go with him to her birthday celebration. What do I do? Nothing. Um, that may sound harsh, but um, I think sometimes it's like the, the saying that sometimes no answer is an answer. Uh, if he's going to see his mom, you've been dating for more than a year, and he hasn't invited you to go. Um, I mean, I invited you to meet my mom on like our fourth date. I know. <laughs> I mean, it, it, sound, it may you sound were... unusual, but I was ready. <laughs> yeah. It's, I think. I think. I think a lot of times women think men are much more clueless than we are. Um, there, obviously, we're not always as sentimental or as thoughtful. Um, as women are in certain areas, but when a guy is ready for a woman to meet his best friend, uh, the the guy he's been friends with since high school, his mom, his family, whatever it is, he, he's just he's gonna talk about it. It's like, hey, I'm going to see my mom. I want you to come with me. I can't wait for them to meet you. So you're so, saying by him not saying anything, that's him saying everything. That's him saying, it's, and it doesn't mean that it's never gonna happen, and it doesn't mean yeah. that he doesn't like her. It just means he's not at that point yet. Yeah. Um, I would say. One of the best pieces of advice I ever got um, from our pastors, um, Philip and Holly, was to date at least a year mm -hmm. before deciding whether or not you want to marry one another. Mm -hmm. And that if you've been together at least two years and you still don't know, to stop wasting one another's time. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you have to be married after 24 months. But within 24 months, if you still have no idea whether or not you want to pursue oh, it, that's a huge then that's different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't mean you have to like, okay, the, the 24th month and one day you have to exchange vows, but within that span between 12 months and 24 months, if you still don't know if you want to spend the rest of your life with this person, it's like, there. I mean, there you should have enough information to know whether you want to marry this person or not. Yeah. So at that point, unless you're waiting for like, okay, when we finish school or whatever, but have clear expectations and communication, yeah. but if yeah. you still don't know, stop wasting each other's time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. um, I'd say it's a red flag. Like I would say that it might yeah. merit a conversation, because um, a year would be a long time, uh, for two reasons. If he's, it could be because of the relationship he has with his mother, and that would be a red flag in and of yeah. itself. Okay. That like if he can't have a healthy enough relationship with his mother to bring in like another person, yeah. like so it could belie that, it, and it could just be like maybe they took it really slow, and and it's okay for it to have been a year and she should talk to him about it. Yeah. I think um, that it's worth a conversation, uh, but it, it would be a red flag to me. Like, I, I, mm. I feel like it would be weird. It would, it would be weird if Amy hadn't met my mom yet, you know, yeah. and we're yeah. coming up to a year. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's just like, and she lives in Florida, so mm -hmm. 3,000 miles away from where we are, yeah. Yeah. you know, so it took a lot of effort, but I put the effort in because I, I was excited about it. And yeah. I think that's, that's where I, I, it comes from, the idea that it's a red flag, is that you would want at some point up to a year for him to be excited enough about incorporating yeah. her into his family. Yeah. Uh, and so that would just be worth, it'd be worth having a conversation yeah. about, I think. Okay. Yeah. I, would, I would encourage her to offer to write a birthday card to the mom, mm -hmm. and I think that's an easy way to get into a conversation about it with her, mm, that's great. her guy. That's and really then, great. Uh, I thought so too. <laughs> but yeah that, that would just facilitate that because that, if that could be a sticky situation that could just help facilitate uh, talking about it in a way that's non-confrontational yeah. and yeah. if there are issues on the other end it can help him maybe express it and in the same time uh, if the card gets to the mom then that gives her uh, a, a place of like starting with her yeah. Yeah. you know it's good I, I will say something that may not be the most popular, but if we're just keeping it 100% real, if you, have dated, real. if you have dated a dude for more than 12 months and you have not met his parents or his closest friends, he's either not serious about the relationship or you are not the main girlfriend. I, mm -hmm. I didn't want it. I, I had that out thought. There. I mean, if we're, I just, like, if we're I just keeping wanna... it real. Okay, wait a second. We're, we're we, it real. we agreed yeah. at the very beginning. Mm -hmm. These women, we're, yeah, these we're women keeping it real. Sure. hear the truth. If you've, yeah. been, if you've been with a dude for 12 months, and you have not met anybody else who is well, important she, in his she life. She did say that she met an aunt. Okay. 
that came to town. I mean, that's and, somebody. Like, Twelve months. I'm just saying. Like but saying. friends. Like if he doesn't bring you around anybody. For twelve months, oh, yeah. which is not what she's saying. Yeah. Carlos don't is looking know. like, yeah, yeah which is what, what she's saying. No. But if we're being real, as a dude, yeah. if you've dated, if I have dated you for twelve months and I have not introduced it's you to, oh, and I have not, <laughs> and I have not introduced you to anybody that is important in my life, yeah. then one, either there is someone else I have introduced to them, or two, you are not important enough to be introduced to those people. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, I I kind of agree with everybody was saying. I yeah. mean, Jihan, who's my fiance. Um, she, um, I know I had to prop that into <laughs> I, I love her all. Give her a shout out. That's but awesome. The last episode, you guys weren't engaged yet. We were not. So, so congratulations. Time, right? yeah. Come on. I've been, awesome. taking, uh, I've been taking you guys' advice. You can watch <laughs> this right. That's what I'm talking it about. It works. <laughs> but uh, I remember we started dating, I think within three months, I invited her to go to my mom's birthday party. Yeah. And uh, now, maybe it's a cultural thing, but I know that in the U.S., Meeting the parents is a huge deal. Yeah. And uh, my culture, meeting the parent is a normal thing that you have to should be doing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's maybe just a little bit different. But if marrying the parents is a huge deal, then still within 12 months, if you haven't met them, yeah. even hype, you know, makes it even it's much time. greater. It's a long time. It's yeah. a lot of time. Mm-hmm. And I agree. You should I mean it. Maybe mm-hmm. again, G has already met my grandpa, two aunts, you know, and they live in Argentina. Yeah. Wow. So Great if you're girl. intentional about the relationship, you'd be intentional about getting to. Meet the people that you love and they love you. Okay. Whether it's an aunt, a best friend, or the mom, which is yeah. huge. Okay. Yeah. And there could be a really safe, logical, great explanation yeah. for it. Yeah. So yeah. I, I was about <laughs> to say, <laughs> yo, like, they might not even know about you, boo. Like, yeah. No, like there, there could be, a, but it's worth talking <laughs> about it. Yeah. I think that, yeah. like, and Jason's suggestion it's was great. Because at 12 yeah. months, he should have at least said yeah. something to his mom. Yeah. Like, his mom hopefully knows he's dating. Fingers crossed. Because hopefully, hopefully like, so she, she, like, she can account for enough of his time. Like, she knows where he is. It's where he's, yeah. It's not like. After 12 months, the mom should be like, well, I can't wait to meet this girl unless she doesn't know about her. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mom would want to meet her, right? right? Like, 12 yeah. months? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're okay. going to move on. <laughs> Cause this could go yeah, on. Cause on. I, the, yeah. the next thing I was going to say was, okay, so speak to her. What do you think mm, she should do? Yeah. No, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. We can we can tackle. Let, let's, let's leave it at that point. <laughs> okay. Let her ponder over it. Pray about it. Really pray about it. Yeah. Um, that's what I would say. <laughs> pray about it. Um, you know, something I remember somebody said to me a long time ago is that there's always flags in your relationship. There's lots of green ones, hopefully. Mm-hmm. If, there's, if there's red ones, we see them all, but we choose to ignore the ones we don't want to deal with. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I'm saying I think you should just pray about that and listen to the wisdom coming from this panel because it is it's true. Um, next question. If you had a woman ask you out, is that a red flag for you? <laughs> 